This is the moment of reckoning between human nature and the force of nature, the tipping point of our collective future. Join us for a selection of the best web videos on climate and energy innovation. Right here, right now, on this planet. Today, rivers, oceans, and rainforests. We begin by charting the impact of humans on this planet's water cycle in a big data overview from Globaya. The global water cycle keeps our planet alive. The rivers are its arteries. Rivers run down mountains through forest, flow through desert and delta, course through bended bay and swerving shore, and recirculate back from our ocean. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Access to water has defined where human populations have flourished. Civilization emerged between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers on the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia in modern-day Iraq. Now we are changing the carbon and nitrogen cycles. We are altering the global water system too through damming, extraction, irrigation and climate change. Many rivers no longer reach the sea. We move more sediment than natural erosion and rivers. We've built 48,000 large dams. We've drained half of global wetlands. We use an area the size of South America to grow our crops, an area the size of Africa for our livestock. Agriculture accounts for 70% of global freshwater use, and we need to feed a growing population. In a single lifetime, we've become a phenomenal global force. We're pushing Earth into a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene, dominated by humanity. We have altered Earth's snow cover, sea ice and ocean volume fundamental elements of the water cycle. Climate change will bring more flooding, drought and disease. A warmer atmosphere holds more water vapour. This is causing the water cycle to intensify. Wet regions are becoming wetter, dry areas drier. Rainfall patterns are changing. Damming, mining and extraction are causing two-thirds of major deltas to sink. Almost 800 million people have no safe drinking water. 2.4 billion remain without adequate sanitation. 1.7 billion people live in places where groundwater is being extracted faster than it can be replenished. Four out of five people worldwide face risk to their water security. For water security for all, we urgently need innovative and creative approaches to policy from local to global. With nations competing for limited resources, we must find better ways to manage them. And we must adapt to a changing water cycle. This is the challenge of water in the Anthropocene. Conservation International asked, what would nature say? And the answers may surprise you. Here is Harrison Ford speaking as the ocean and Kevin Spacey as the rainforest. I am the ocean. I'm water. I'm most of this planet. I shaped it. Every stream, every cloud, and every raindrop, it all comes back to me. One way or another, every living thing here needs me. I'm the source. I'm what they crawled out of. Humans, they're no different. I don't owe them a thing. I give, they take. But I can always take back. That's just the way it's always been. It's not their planet anyway. Never was, never will be. But humans, they take more than their share. They poison me, then they expect me to feed them. 
Well, it doesn't work that way. If humans want to exist in nature with me and off of me, I suggest they listen close. I'm only gonna say this once. If nature isn't kept healthy, humans won't survive. Simple as that. I mean, I could give a damn with or without humans. I'm the ocean. I covered this entire planet once, and I can always cover it again. That's all I have to say. I am the rainforest. I watched them grow up here. They've left, but they always come back. Yes, they always come back. For my trees, their wood, my plants, their medicines. For my beauty, their escape. I've always been there for them. And I have been more than generous. Sometimes I gave it all to them. Now, gone forever. But humans, they're so smart. So smart. Such big brains and opposable thumbs. They know how to make things, amazing things. Now, why would they need an old forest like me anymore? Jungles? Trees? Well, they do breathe air, and I make air. Have they thought about that? Humans. So smart. They'll figure it out. Humans making air. That'll be fun to watch. Worried about the rainforest? You should be. Rainforest Alliance wants you to know what not to do. You are a good person. You spend time with your family. You work out at the gym. Come on, push, push. You can serve water while showering. You like nice clothes. You give to charity. You recycle. You drive a Prius, but you use your bike when you can. You enjoy the occasional distraction at work. And you always send a card on Mother's Day. Always. But there's a part of you that tells yourself that you're not so good, that you could be doing more, that the world is falling apart at the seams, and all you've been doing is yoga. One day, you see that the rainforest is being destroyed at a staggering rate of 32 million acres a year. That's the equivalent of one football field every 78 seconds. You feel bad, angry, guilty. You've been apathetic for too long. You want to do something about it. You must do something about it. Well, this is what you're not going to do. You're not going to quit your job, leave your family, get on the next flight to Nicaragua, take a bus to the edge of the jungle, then hoof it across rivers, lakes, and streams on a quest to the very heart of the rainforest. Take me to the heart of the rainforest. You're getting closer. You're almost there. You have arrived. You're not going to ingratiate yourself with the local tribesmen, go to great lengths to earn their respect and trust. No, 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 no! It is around now you realize you're living out the cliché gringo fantasy of becoming an honorary native and leading the resistant forces. But screw it. If they could do it, so can you. I'm gonna save you! This guy comes over here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pull a zap thing, that's right through him, right over here. You're not gonna coordinate and occupy the rainforest movement, realize it's hopeless, summon the power of the gods, lead a revolution against the deforesters and their multinational employers in an apocalyptic, once-and-for-all battle to save humanity, 
to awaken two days later in an El Salvadorian hospital with two toes missing on your left foot. Siri, I want to go home. Hobble out of Central America, up through Mexico, across the Sierra Madre, where you break down, have your first cigarette in four years, accidentally start a wildfire, killing off the endangered species that once served as your occupational distraction, finally make it back home, only to find you've been replaced at work by a guy named TJ, and that things at home are not what they used to be. You're not going to do any of these things, but what you can do is follow the frog. Buying Rainforest Alliance certified products ensures the future of our rainforests so that you don't have to do the things you shouldn't do anyway. Just follow the frog. Learn how to follow the frog at rainforest-alliance.org. Nature has even more to say at conservation.org. And you can see all of Globia's films at globia.org. Then tell us what you think at thisplanet.tv.